It takes some context. Uh, you know, people can ask questions. Um, you know, people have different tastes. So when you have, uh, when you're working with contemporary artists, um, and I also show artists in several different mediums. So sometimes it's painting, sometimes it's sculpture, like with Shangi Hua, and um, photography and mixed media. So, and each artist has their own vision, their own personality, their own uh, information that is going into the work, uh, that whether it's more about their process or more about their personal history. So, uh, yeah, it takes uh, some, more than just looking, although it needs to have some kind of, uh, art, art is visual and it needs to make an impact visually first and foremost, but then at the same time to learn about the backgrounds and um, the information about the piece really helps people to understand it. So we usually are very open to uh, having public discussions or when anyone just comes in to ask questions and talk about the work. And each uh, series, like this exhibition, is very specifically, you know, new work that the artist has been working on for the last year. And so often artists work in, work in series, so each series might have a completely different sort of, you know, background to why they're doing it. My entire family on my mom's side lives in Taiwan. Uh, my mom was born in Shanghai and moved to Taiwan when she was uh, just a little kid and um, grew up there, moved to the U.S. when she was in her early 20s. and met my dad and that's why I'm <laughs> half, half Chinese and so you get, American, yeah. So you can understand Chinese, I think. I can... But you can you speak very well, but you can speak. Yeah, my understanding is a little bit better than my speaking. and Because I, when I go to Taiwan now, it's a, for such a short time, you know, maybe I go for a few days or a week, and it's really not enough time to get it back. But when I was a kid, I used to go, I would spend the whole summer there. So I would be speaking Chinese, um, but then I lose lose it uh, <laughs> when I'm here. Taiwan, how much it's changed too over the years, because um, I started going in the in the early '80s, um, and I was just there last year. So, Xinzhou. Mm -hmm. And Taipei, but my family is mostly in Xinzhou, and so, and I have a huge family because um, my my grandmother Popoa is. She's 97, and, um, and then my mother has seven brothers and sisters, so I have aunts and uncles, and then they have kids, so I have about 20 cousins. Some of them have kids, so I have about 50 people in my family in Taiwan. So I love going. I love Taiwan. I love the culture. I love the, the, the mountains and the jungle and the, the water and the cities and the food and the shopping. And <laughs> I love it there.